Hi, this is Mick from Get Your Rock Out, here with the Fall of Eve at Dames of Darkness Fest. So, you played, what well, it to be your first set. <laughs> uh, how did you feel about that? You're playing such a big crowd. Yeah, we were quite nervous because it was our first proper live show with the lineup that we've currently got and with the the EP and stuff like that. We were a bit nervous about it. Yeah, uh, one of my legs didn't stop shaking <laughs> so about two songs in and it was just going and going. As long as it does it in time, then it's fine. No one will notice. No one will notice. <laughs> but after a couple of songs, to sort of get into it and yeah, it gets a little bit nervous. Let the nerves and just yeah. kind of get into the kind of routine of playing the songs. Yeah. So um, obviously, a new band. Can you tell us a bit about what Fall of is all about, really? Um, well, we initially started back in 2011, um, and I had never written music that I was going to sing. Um, so it was a bit hard trying to find subject matter and we initially took um, stories from biblical texts, from mythology, from Greek and Roman mythology, anything we could find um, and as we got more comfortable things moved on but the name eventually came from the Adam and Eve sort of creation story and um, the fall of Eve since it's a female fronted band and all that sort of thing, but it was music that we listened to, and it's well, music that we enjoy. Yeah, 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 it's music yeah, that we so enjoy listening to, with, yeah. with interpretation, epic, and nightwish, blah 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 blah. So we thought, why not? We've been musicians for years. Why not do something that we actually enjoy listening to, not just something that we have to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah we have yeah. to write it. We have to write perform some it. music for ourselves. For a change. Yeah. yeah. Um, so coming up with uh, music to match the lyrics is that a hard process or what's it goes through your head when you first try to write a song I think usually um, we work on <laughs> we, we, we work on um, the guitar parts the chord structure and then we start formulating the kind of riffs and that will obviously have an knock on effect with the orchestral stuff that is behind it um, but once we've got a kind of a structure together, the, the the lyrical content just seems to it just, sort of it just comes out. Yeah, yeah. we just kind of go with what, we don't we don't really overwork ourselves with it. We just kind of let the music kind of naturally just happen. Yeah, sometimes I'll write um, lyrics and there's no music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll have a book of things yeah. to maybe come back to at other times, or there'll be guitars for things. We live together, so we can. We can work start writing stuff all it the time, yeah. Sure. Anytime it suits yeah, yeah, yeah. us, um, whether that's eleven o'clock at night or whether that's yeah. three in the afternoon. Yeah. It makes no it's, difference. Um, yeah. So usually the, the the guitar parts come first, though. Um, yeah, generally. And then that kind of gives some sort of grounding for the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. So where's the you say the major theme came from biblical themes? Any more specific on that? Where's like a specific song that comes to mind um, that were you proud of? Well, we the very first thing we did was we did a very short four-track um, demo, which has never seen the light of day, but it was something for us to use as a jumping-off point. And the four songs were all taken from um, stories that I had, and it was actually a book for visiting galleries, looking at paintings, and it would explain what the, the paintings were about. The paintings, yeah. yeah, so you would have biblical paintings to do with saints or whatever, and it would explain the story behind that person. And I would take stories that had a sort of a, a point or a theme and write that. And the idea was that we're going to do seven for the seven deadly sins and seven for the seven heavenly virtues. Because um, we thought that would make a good album concept, but we, we drifted away from that. But Original Sin was originally to do with gluttony. Um, and we thought that Apple, the tree, that was the original sin. Um, although some people like to think of it as the original sin of being born and you'd be claims of original sin when you're christened. Um, envy. Was always envy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, consequence was originally lust. Yeah. Um, I think there was one more. Yeah. Um, um, I can't think now. Yeah. Mm. That's gone. No. But yeah, the, some of the songs have evolved and changed, and they still exist, and some of them don't. We spent a lot of time just kind of working on the music before we ever played a show. So you know, recording the ideas that we had and, and, and reworking some of the ideas that we had till eventually we got to a point where we, we kind of felt right, we're kind of happy with this now. And kind of from that point onwards, um, we've just been working quite hard. And, and I mean, to, to come here today, to be asked to come and play it, um, for this to be our first proper kind of outing, 
you know, it's a, it's a lot of fun. And it's opening great, the show for know. Serenia isn't hard, yeah, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. But it's quite, a, I mean, I feel quite a bit of pressure um, coming in all the way down here from it's Scotland and, ball, and, and, and playing, you're being presented to society. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think because we've put a lot of music up online and people are, have been listening to that, obviously we want to be able to come out and play the songs live and for it to work, yeah. you know? We don't want to come out and then it's like, ah, uh, we, we, we hit them and they, 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 those guys sucked. Yeah, you know, we wanted to sound like the CD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a so, lot. Um, so we've, we've had a lot of positive feedback um, from like everyone that's been attending the festival, so yeah, we're very happy lovely. about that, yeah. Uh, so you said you've got your debut album funded through Kickstarter. What's that mean to get that kind of money through, like from the fan, just from the fan base? It's unbelievable. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, the girl that's currently playing bass with us, Liesl, um, that was how we met her in the first place. Yeah, she was, was a Kickstarter she pledged on Kickstarter for the yeah. album. Um, she amazingly, that, yeah. yeah, she amazingly she upped her pledge to a significant amount of money, which without that it wouldn't have reached its target. Um, and we were really surprised and through keeping in touch with her we found out that she was a bassist and we were in need of a bassist and we said well clearly mm -hmm. like the music you, you clearly really want to be involved would you like to come and play for us and she was over the moon to do it and um we were over the moon to be able to do the album because it wasn't something that we would ever have been able to do on our own yeah. not to the not to the level or to the standard that we have and we we would, we've always said either do it right or don't do it. Don't do it. Half measures. Don't yeah. put it out, and it's not quite the way you'd like. It. Spend the time, spend the money, and so get the, it right. The album's taking a lot longer than we we kind of. Anticipated. Yeah, anticipated. The big. Um, we kind of had a couple of deadlines where we thought, right, we're going to have it done by that point. But the thing is, the album's been done now for a few months. It's just not been mixed. Um, there's been slight issues over the last month, few months, um, regarding that. So. Um, but the album will be here hopefully soon, so, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's kind of a weird thing, Kickstarter, because you're kind of putting money into basically nothing. You put it into a promise at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, yep. So, it, uh, how do you feel about the whole culture of Kickstarter and music, related to music? Well, to, to start with, I was kind of against it. I was kind of like, no, no one's going to fund us. No, 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 you know? And I was looking at other projects that was on it that were, were kind of local to where we live, and we were kind of like, those guys weren't really, they didn't really, their campaign didn't really work out for them. So I was kind of against it from the start and then it was Laura that kind of pushed it and um, I was just totally like blown away by it. I was like, oh my God, I can't yeah. believe that people are actually listening to what we're doing online and actually thinking that, you know, we can we can push this, you know? Yeah, and there's been um, people being saying what's happening, want an update, yeah, yeah. what's going on, when mm -hmm. are we getting the stuff, when are we getting all the stuff, the pleasure rewards and... When's the album going to be here? Yeah. And they just want constant. We had we just had to keep feedback. promising that yeah it is done. It, it, it is, is coming. Done. We, we, we put our video up for the first um, song off the the album uh, Destiny, and um, it's had a really good response over the last week or so. It's been up so, um, yeah, it's, it's had about what 14, 1500 views so mm -hmm. in about a week. So we're like that's pretty cool, you know, a good response and everything's been positive. So, you know, been good. yeah, no yeah. good. Uh, one that I like, uh, I've heard a lot of people end on, and I love this question to end on. Okay, say all the records in the world were going to be destroyed, you only could save one. What record would you save? Um, I would probably say uh, Within Temptation, um, Stand My Ground. Or, well, it's, it's the, the, the album that Stand My Ground is. So the Silent Force would probably be the album that, that I would. You know. I I could not go the rest of my days without listening to Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, the Pastoral Symphony again. Right. I, I, so you need a classical I was, album? I was brought yeah. up on classical music and Queen and Meatloaf. Oh, it, it mixes. Um, yeah, and um, given that, well, I mean, like, so Queen Fairy Mary, she trained as a classical singer, I started learning classical vocals and picking up instruments. And I played in orchestras and things, I play various things, and I, I read proper score and things like that. So. Classical music has always been something because we have a lot of orchestration. That's something that we are very involved in. Yeah. Um. So we have a lot of input on what goes where, what's playing, yeah. what's not. And I don't think without the pastoral, it's my favourite. The pastoral symphony. It's the one mm -hmm. people will watch that. It's the one in Fantasia with the centaurs, and then it goes on to the Pegasus <laughs> flying horses and do, 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 that number. Brilliant. Can't beat it. Fair enough. That's fantastic. Thanks so much for your time. That's and great. Enjoy the rest Thank of the you. weekend. Thank you Woo. very much.